It's a journey that begins with a blank canvas. Where achieving unparalleled distinction is the pinnacle. For a creation peppered with precision, refinement, and beauty. A season filled with promise and hope is underway. One in which individuality means everything. Execution is vital, agility essential. And with each passing stroke, the art of speed, accuracy, and movement is developed, enhanced, and polished. While perfection may be impossible, expectations build as sacrifice and drive lead to the ultimate reward. And as the end draws near, the foundation of excellence is never forgotten. It is embraced into the final performance. This is Inside the U.S. Open, presented by Mercedes-Benz. Welcome to Inside the U.S. Open, presented by Mercedes-Benz. I'm Justin Gimmelstab. As another truly outstanding year in tennis winds down, the anticipation and excitement for the season's final major championship heats up. The U.S. Open is America's slam, a rigorous combination of intense conditions, demanding expectations, and competition at the very highest level. It's a fitting conclusion to the Grand Slam season that started back in January. Over the next hour, we'll revisit the 2013 season, play some fantasy tennis, and hear the unwritten legacies from some of the biggest names in the game. And in a special feature, I'll explore the future of American men's tennis with the sport's most talented up-and-comers and distinguished players. But first up, we'll find out what it's like to experience tennis under the lights and in a city that truly never sleeps. The U.S. Open to me is the atmosphere, the players that make it up, and the matches. I mean, the matches are electric. You know, they're incredible. Like, it's a, a, a feeling that you don't get in any other tournament throughout the entire year. Fantastic. You're like, I play at night, and you kind of take a deep breath, and like, okay, let's, let's get it going, and you're playing in, in a big event. It's pretty tough to get in New York or riled up, but it seems like for two weeks out of the year, all they can talk about is the U.S. Open and tennis, and we want to put on a show for them. I love New York. I think, uh, you know, all the restaurants, the shopping, the shows, you know, you can do anything at any time of the day, and great vibe and atmosphere, and a city that never sleeps. You know, being in New York, you got it. You're sort of everything's quick. You know, you go to dinner. It's a lot of people. Traffic would take 20 minutes. It could take an hour, and that's part of it. It's part of the charm of it. The U.S. Open is just completely different. It's the biggest stadium. It's the biggest crowds. I watch every single night match there is. Some of the biggest night matches you'll ever play in your career, including the final of a Grand Slam you're playing at night, definitely something special. The buzz at night, during the day, any day really. The taxis that are driving all day long, those, you know, the yellow cabs and stuff. The subway, the, uh, just the whole situation, the way the, the city is, is created. It's the best, really. I mean, I really enjoy playing there. I think the fans are, uh, are the best in the world because they're, they're so excited. After it gets past midnight, they're even more crazy and it's just such a fun atmosphere. You couldn't help yourself. You couldn't help noticing that there are fans in the upper deck still going crazy, still screaming at two in the morning. It's usually a rowdy atmosphere. New York fans root like no other fan in the world. They're screaming louder and it just brings the best out in us. We like the big stage and we feed off of it. We're usually chest bumping more than we've ever had in the whole year. But, you know, New York showtime. You have great fans all around the world, but the New Yorkers are different. I mean, they, they're sort of waiting for something to happen. But you have to show them something. And the moment it happens, they jump on top of it, and they don't let go, and they get into it till the very end, you know? And that's what they're there for. That's what they paid their tickets for. And I kind of like that idea. It's like the place to be. 
Everybody's always like, oh, I got tickets to the open. That's what they love to tell you. You know, they like to tell me they got tickets to the open. And I'm like, I have a seat on center court at the open, so. <laughs> When I think about the U.S. Open, I think about other players playing, the John Macros and the players that really had that relationship with the crowd. I think you found a lot of noise and a lot of excitement going up. John is the perfect guy for the U.S. Open because he's from Queens. He really represents what the U.S. Open is. He's brash, he's kind of anti-authority. He's different. Well, Johnny Mac, you don't know what you're going to get with John, if he was going to be a gentleman or if he was going to explode. And he'll admit that he lost his cool every now and again, and that's fine. He was certainly one player that liked to tell the umpire and whoever else out there what he thought, and for him it obviously worked. You feel like kind of the season winds down and it's always hot, you know, and then you get to the U.S. Open. You're always ready to go for the last, you know, pretty much that last summer event. It's the last slam of the year. Everybody is really, you know, out there to make their last statement. I'm biased because I grew up in the States, not far from there, but uh, I think it's the most prestigious and the one that I would want to win. If I had the choice to win any tournament in the world, it'd be the U.S. Open. When we return, we'll review the past three majors and hear from the champions on both the men's and women's side. It's been by far my most successful uh, Grand Slam tournament and the one that I enjoy very much playing. I went in there really wanting to win and I had a really good clay court season. And still to come, we'll get the chance to play some fantasy tennis. I'd love to play Ivan, Lando. Yeah. Uh, now um, yeah, I would have loved to have had the, the chance to play against him. Inside the U.S. Open is brought to you by Mercedes-Benz and the new CLA.